Courtney Rahal on camera work here. Graham Rahal, <laughs> her not better half. Kid, I've been doing this for 50 years and I've seen a lot of things, but I'm not sure that might have been the greatest race I've ever seen the last five laps. Yeah, it was intense. Um, you know, Hinge deserved this one. He led pretty much the whole thing, but we led the last couple hundred yards. That's all you got to lead. It was great to uh, get a win on this year for us. And obviously, this is an emotional one with Clawson. And then obviously, this reminds me a lot of a few years ago with Justin. So, you know, it's a, uh, it's a special win. Uh, it's nice to be here in Victory Lane and, you know, have my wife here, who's now our camera woman, yep. and uh, we, she gets big money from racers. You know, and it's just uh, it's a special special night for us. I think this year hasn't been great, you know, for us. We've been fighting really hard, so to get a win, it's pretty relieving. I told Pagano after the race, I said, you know, you were racing against three desperate Amer you were racing against three desperate race drivers that hadn't won all year. He goes, yeah, when we got four white, I figured maybe I should maybe back off. Yeah, one of us is going to, and you know, when we got four wide, I was really just having fun up on the high line. I bailed out early to just just trying to tempt those guys. I knew it wasn't going to work, and you know, have fun with them and make them nervous. And then, you know, really at the end, it came down to I just had to try my hardest to fake hinge up high and cut low because I wasn't going to drive around the outside. And uh, luckily, I cut to the bottom, and he didn't chop me. And it's a good run. I was going to say, you cut to the bottom earlier and got run into the infield. Yeah, Kanan just blocked the, yeah, which, if there's a blocking rule, that's a block. I mean, he, I was under him and he just kept driving to the line. That's a block. So I'll have to talk to Ari and Max about that. But, you know, that's fine. Whatever. I bailed out. I saw it wasn't going to work out and, uh, you know, went right back to the high line to try to get some momentum built back up. And, you know, luckily it worked out. And our car was really good on old tires all night. Um, you know, so I thought that as the run went on, we'd be good. So you didn't, you weren't tempted to come in when TK did at the end? No, but I didn't understand how they got right back to us. I thought it was their choice. Yes, lap cars go to the back, you know, with however many laps to go. But if you pit on your own, they shouldn't be, you shouldn't just be get, able to drive right around them all. I would have pitted then. I didn't know that was the rule. Yeah, because they waved right around, so there were only four cars on the lead lap by that time. So they were right behind you. Yeah, but, you know, I didn't understand the rule work that way. So, uh, you know, obviously I need to brush up on my rule book a little yeah, bit do. but now you're all right your wife and I were talking you almost prematurely put your hand we were like oh my it was this is the closest finish in the history of this race fifth closest finish of all time we thought you almost celebrated too early I saw him I knew where he was and I thought pretty clearly that I was ahead at the stripe and um, I, I waited long enough just to see the number two flat on his roll hoop and uh, when I saw that I knew I had it <laughs> All right, I don't know if we can say this. I think we can. Big balls, hell of a race. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks, Graham. I've seen a lot of things, folks, but Robert Miller for Racer.com. I've seen something I hadn't seen in a while. Four wide on a mile and a half racetrack. Graham Ray, hell the winner.